welcome to Tai Chi. Everybody ready? Let's warm up. Hands at your waist, turn your neck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stretch your neck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Turn your shoulders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Expand your chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Waist exercise. Keep your arms closer to your ear as you turn at the hips and waist to peek at the heel of your opposite foot. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Airplane, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Touch toe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Turn your hips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, be careful, shift your weight to the left foot. Good Tai Chi posture, kick your right foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Kick your butt, one, two, Three, shift your weight, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Turn your knees, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, other way, one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Heisman, opening up your span, parallel feet, choose the right side, cross and sit on that side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cross and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And one, two, three, four, five. Other side. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, golden cockerel. Good Tai Chi posture. Dropping those shoulders, tucking your butt, hollowing your chest. Middle finger to the side seam of your pants. Tongue on your palate. Chin slightly down. Head erect. Here we go. Golden cockerel stands on its left. And right. Get in your spirals. Get in your rotation of your cable. Counterbalance, push down, bring it up. Do it simultaneously, think through. Last set. Kicking out, shift weight to the left. Right hand, right foot coming out, kick out right. Gather energy, center energy, disperse the energy. Counterbalance hand, make sure it's in the opposite direction. Last one. Holding your ball in a T stance, root down, out into the side, bow the legs, part the wild horse's mane. Sit back, sit down, pivot, root down, center with the ball, out on the T, move the energy, flatten the front foot, bow stance. Sit back, sit down, pivot, Store the energy, T stance, L stance, bow the legs, bow stance. Sit back, sit down, pivot. Cloud hands in the 10 form. Nine o'clock. Three o'clock, nine o'clock, three o'clock, drop the shoulders, nine o'clock. Shift your weight. the bird's tail. Hands go for the ride. Contact. Use your hips and waist to turn. Sit down. Twist. T. L. Bow the legs. Ward off. Turn hips and waist. Grasp the bird's tail. Apparently closing, twist, open pivot, in pivot. Embrace the tiger first, then move over, rotate. Bring the tiger closer, push him out. Drop the shoulders, flex the knees, tuck the elbows as we now Close our form. Okay, clock wall. Doing our Tai Chi walk. Okay, here we go. Oh, actually, no, 16 form. Here we go. Good Tai Chi posture, commencing form. 
open, rotate, deep breath, push down, use your core, holding your ball out into the side, part of the wild horse's main one. Sit back, sit down, pivot out, hold your ball, heel, round the crotch, two, half step, spin, rock, look, lift off, white crane, drop, bisect, tuck the elbow, swirl back, look back, lift off the ground, brush knee one. Sit back, out, right hand higher, brush knee two. Sit back, out, high, fist up, deflect, bring it in to parry, and then to punch. Touch, roll back, sit down, push down, spiral up, lunge forward. Pivot on the back, pivot on the front, hook the back hand, T stance, out into the side, single whip. Half step, swirl, rock, play your lute. Repulse the monkey, center, glance higher, lift off the ground all together as you repulse monkey one. Center, glance higher, off the ground, toe, heel, meet, slide. Pivot the front, parallel at the back, Kick out with your right heel. Maiden shuttles on her left. Sit back, sit down, pivot in, hold your ball. Out with your right heel, spin the ball. Maiden on her right. Half step to the back, cross the hips and waist, set up the left hand, down to the bottom of the seat. One hand comes up, two hands come up, Bend your foot, start in the middle, stretch out, flash arms. Sit back, sit down, 12 o'clock, 9 o'clock, cloud hands. 3 o'clock, flip and close. Flip and open at 9. Flip and close, holding your ball, you're going to ward off. Turn the hips and waist to grasp the bird's tail. Contact, push, separate, roll back and sit down. Spiral up and lunge forward. Twist, T, out L, ward off. Turn the hips and waist, grasp the bird's tail. Contact, turn again, push. Separate, roll back, sit down. Spiral up, lunge forward. Twist, open pivot, in pivot. Embrace the tiger, move over, rotate on the wrists. Tiger, come closer to you. Push him out. Drop the shoulders, flex the knees. Let gravity take you all back. Close your form. Okay, turning to the Bulletin board, good Tai Chi posture, Yang Ten form. Shift weight, open, rotate, deep breath. Push down using your core. Repulse of the monkey. Ah, yeah, repulse of the monkey. No, yes. Brush knee. Part the wild horse's mane.
out hands. Pivot. Are your shoulders dropped? Are you using your hips and waist to turn? Shift weight to the left, come up, golden cockerel. Kick out. Grasp the bird's tail. side. Pivot. Open pivot. In pivot. Embrace the tiger. Shift the weight over. Rotate, tiger closer, out, drop the shoulders, flex the knees, let the hands go for the ride as you now close your form. Okay. Almost everybody knows the sequence, where the hands should go, sort of where the feet should go, but we're still, you may be doing it and I'm not seeing it, but I don't see a lot of movements coming from the core, particularly the upper core. I see a lot of hand movements and the hands get to the right place, but it's sort of daintily done. Beautiful, but if you're really doing Tai Chi to build up your core, you're not doing it, okay? Uh, I think whatever Lucille asks or puts forward as a, the, the form to perform, think about Things come from your shoulders. You now know where your hands should be, but the, the portion that leads up to where your hand ends up being is the part where you're gonna have to initiate it from the core. You don't just daintily put it here. It's coming. When you're gonna make a ball, it's coming from here, here, okay? When you see the ball, it's not, it's, if you really emphasize it a lot, it's, and just happens the hands end up in the right place. Same thing when you're going to, going to strike uh, brush knee. It comes, it doesn't come just to the ear because that's pretty when you get it to the ear, but if you bring it back, this is being employed. When you're coming, you get to the ear, see this? And the hand happens to follow off. Otherwise, all you're doing is you come up to here and do this, as opposed to you're, you're coming back, it gets to the ear, and you see my shoulder is about to drop and cock, and then it comes straight forward. It's coming from here. It ends up just like everybody does from here, but this is, as opposed to, is it should be coming around in a circle. Coming around, shoulders drop, elbows drop, and you just turn your waist and your hand gets where you need to go. So when you do your movements, think about teaching the core, learning to get it from here, not here. You know where it is now. I see that everybody gets it here, but what's, what leads up to it, I think is important. Okay, so good. While we were um, actually doing our routine, I was, that crossed my mind also. I think that the earlier that we are aware of correct posture, and we try our best to get it that way, the better off we are in the long run, rather than wait until we're so proficient and then we say, someone comes up to you and says, 
hey, has your core gotten any stronger? And you say, what's our core? Okay, so what's our core? So here's an experiment or a, a, a lesson. So when we come up here and we commence, my core is engaged. And I know that and probably, I know that because I feel it, but I think you may make an observation that when I do, when I do, when I commence, I'm not just bringing up my hand and pushing it down. Yeah, it, it's still pretty graceful. And you get to the same position, but when you use your core, it's not necessarily just. It's not just slowly and more deliberate, but you feel something going on in the central part of your system. And I think that the more you are aware of that and the more you use your core, yes, the observation as a uh, person viewing, you can get that, that feeling that it's something more powerful. In commencing form like what we just did, it's the, one of the easiest way to understand how to use your core. In other forms, such as brush knee, it's already a complex movement. You may not feel it right away, but if you can tell yourself, what am I doing with my core to make that movement happen? And if you say, I don't know, I don't know, my core is not even moving or I don't feel anything heavy duty about it, then you have to tell yourself, how can I use my motion to incorporate my core? All right, so we are gonna stand apart and we're gonna commence and we're gonna see if we can, what did I say, drop the water? So do we just flimsily drop the water, make a splash? No, something in the back has to be engaged. Okay, here we go. So good Tai Chi posture, opening your stance. We've come down, uh, we're rotating around to the middle of our thighs. We're concentrating, we're pulling up that water. Now we're shoulder level, we push down the water. Okay, one more time, five times, okay? So each time we do it, you say to yourself, what am I doing to incorporate my core? The water you know is heavy. It's, it, it can't be just dabbled in and pulled up. It takes some force. The force comes from your core, okay? Drop down, rotate. Reverse, exhale. Other time, rotate, draw up, reverse, push down. Okay, one more time, three, rotate, think through, draw up that water using your core, push down that water. Four, Sides of your thigh, rotate, think through. It's heavy, it's hard, it's sort of impossible, but we can try our best. Okay, last one. Take your time. Rotate, draw up the water. Push down. Okay, and then when now, when you're going to form your ball, I'm going to be on the wrong side. Don't lift this guy up and do this now. So you're down here, right? Okay, let's try that. Okay, commencing form. Yang um, 10. Drop your shoulders. Begin. Shift weight. Open. Rotate, use your core. Push down, use your core. Don't raise the shoulder. Tuck that left hand out into the side, bow the legs. It's okay. Sit back, twist. Don't raise the shoulder. Core-related activities. 
Sit back. Brush knee, don't raise the shoulder. You can still elevate that arm. How are we gonna use your core? We're gonna stop our hands from moving. Multitask, use the core, use your hips and waist. That's engaging your core. Sit back, twist. Don't raise that shoulder, but the arm is higher. Multitask. Use your core to spin on that axle. Turn the hips and waist. Okay, come down. Let's repulse the monkey. Come down, push down. Center. The hand just doesn't go flinging up there. The core is directing it. So is your mind. Core related. It's a little slower, but the sensation is way different. Core. One last one, brush knee. Core. Sit back. Set it up. Multi core. Hold your ball. Okay, so the question is, do you, have you begun to feel something different in your motions? Raise a hand. Yeah. So it's not easy, but the more we can feel that sensation and say, I'm really doing Tai Chi now, now that I, you know, feel that, then just apply it to all your other movements. And you'll get to a point where you'll dispense with all the hand motions and say, I know I can do better. But it takes, takes, you, takes you on a journey, not just a few minutes, but you're gonna have to apply that. So I think I may have given you a sensation that you might be looking for. So in ordinary teaching and learning, we're always looking for accomplishing a, a piece of work or a project. With, yes, with some care, but for Tai Chi, we're trying to accomplish a project that's ongoing. So the more you know, the more you have that sensation, and the more you get it, there's deeper stuff left, okay? So always, always everything superficial and just dig down deeper. All right. So in some ways, the stomach is, um, the stomach and the hip area is relaxed. So I cannot say for sure that you have to tuck it. You, but when you do what, what I'm saying, okay? If you tuck your butt, there is a sensation that the stomach is pretty tight. So when you, so stand there and just tuck your butt. When you tuck your butt, this thing becomes a little firmer. If you don't tuck your butt and you feel it, it's pretty soft. But once you tuck your butt, it is firm. So good question, good observation, but don't take it to the point where you have to tuck, tuck it and be stiff and, um, and locking your knees. So good question, did, I, uh, did you understand what I said? That, that if, you, if you tighten this up, you're locking your knee and you're out of Tai Chi posture. But once you firm it down a little bit, it's fine, okay? So good question, I like that. Any other uh, comments or concerns now? Huh? So when your leg or when your balance goes up, yes, there's a firmness here and you're concentrating two inches below your navel. But not to the point where you feel like you have to make sure you tighten it up. It should come natural, okay? Because once you feel that you need to, if you put too much emphasis on it and you tighten it, it's as if you're locking that knee, which you don't want to do, okay? But there's that slight uh, line or division in which we have to take some of this and take some of that. Okay, so I was gonna say that 
in most of our projects or anything we do, even including Tai Chi, we're looking for accomplishment. We're, we're not really looking for the deeper stuff, but in Tai Chi, the Asian way of, of um, looking at things, you're looking for the deeper thing, and it's an ongoing thing. Okay, and some of this stuff, it's not, I can put, we can put it out there and we can say, do you feel that, do you, you know, this and that, but actually the discovery comes within each of you and that's the stuff that is the priceless, long-lasting uh, benefit, okay? All right, um, let's concentrate on the, the 16, okay, a little bit more. Oh, we said we're gonna do the 24. I remember. All right, so when we do the 24, we're gonna get to places where it's difficult, such as serpent in the grass. Hey, go for the ride, go for the experience, go for the laugh. Don't hurt yourself, okay? But just, just know that our body is furnished with stuff that will take us to do different things, but how do we do it efficiently we need to take lessons and we need the experience, okay? All right, Yang 24, the gold standard. Good Tai Chi posture, commencing form, shift weight to the right, on the toe, open, rotate, deep breath, push down. I'm gonna part the wild horse's mane three times, T stamp. Out and to the side, part the wild horse's mane one. Sit back, twist out, hold your ball, out and to the side, L stance, part the wild horse's mane two. Sit back, twist out, center with a ball, L stance, bottom hand advances, third and final, part the wild horse's mane. Half step forward. Hold your ball. Spin your ball to the left as you rock the front foot, weight on the back, advance the right hand, let the left foot come down on its toe, white crane spreads its wings. Drop your front foot as you tuck the elbow and bisect your body to the Dantian. Swirl back and set it up correctly, right hand higher. Lift the front foot up, multitask, brush knee one. Sit back, twist out, left hand higher, set it up correctly, L stance, multitask, brush knee two. Sit back, twist out, set it up correctly, multitask, final, brush knee three. Half step forward, sit back, rock the front foot, play your lute on your heel. We're gonna repulse the monkey. What a better way to do this movement because we've set it up correctly. Heel of the front, firmed on the right. Center the front hand, look at the back hand that's higher. We're gonna walk backwards. All together, ear, toe, heel, pivot on the ball of your foot as you meet in the center, retract, repulse one, four times. Lead with the toe, left hand higher, lift off the ground, toe, heel, pivot on the front of the foot, repulse two. Center, higher, glance, toe, lead with the toe, heel, repulse three. Center, higher, glance, lead with the toe, all together, repulse, the monkey, final. Hold your ball on a T stance towards the bulletin board wall. We're going to ward off. You know how to do that. Ward off, turn the hips and waist, grasp the bird's tail. Contact, turn again, push, separate, roll back, sit down, spiral up, lunge forward. Other side, twist step, T stance. L stance, ward off. Turn the hips and waist to grasp the bird's tail. Contact, turn, push, separate, roll back, sit down, 
spiral up and lunge forward. We're going to do a single whip. Sit down, sit back, twist step, 12 o'clock cup. 9 o'clock, 12 o'clock. We're going out to the 3 o'clock. We're going to hook the hand, T-step it. Left hand across the face, out, single whip. Cloud hands for three times. Sit back, sit down. Pivot, 12 o'clock. 3 o'clock begins one rotation. Three o'clock begins a second rotation. Cloud hands. Three o'clock, last rotation. At three o'clock with our right hand, we're going to hook it again, T-step it, and we're going to come out to the side, and this is the second single whip. whip. Half step forward. Sit back, rock the front foot when your weight is on the back, lift it off, and you pat your horse. Cross at the wrist, step out with your left heel, gather the energy, center the energy, and what? Kick out, right, and in, drop gently on your right heel, tuck the elbows, and look through your double punch. Sit back, sit down, pivot all the way around to face the road. Left hand on the outside, left foot coming up. Kick up, kick out left. Hook the hand and you're a serpent. You go down and slither in the grass. And you come up as a golden cockerel. We have to do the other side. Put your toe down, spin, hook the hand, split. Stack yourself, serpent goes down, pivot out to the right, set yourself up, shift your weight to the forward foot, up golden cockerel. Out with an L stance with your left heel, hold your ball, and Maiden is going to put her sh shuttlecock right there. Sit back, sit down, pivot out with your right heel, hold your ball, Spin the ball, made in shuttlecocks on the left. Half step to the back, and you're going to go down to the bottom of the sea with your right hand. And come up, and flash your arms like a fan. Then you're going to sit back and sit down, and you're going to fist the right hand, spin out with your right heel, and you're going to deflect. Bring the parry in, and then you're going to punch. Strip the guy off of your body, roll back and push him down, spiral up and lunge forward. Twist, closing form, or apparently closing. Embrace the tiger. Up, in, out. Drop the shoulders, how to use your core, that's the time right there, because the hands go for the ride. Okay, so good, wasn't too bad, right? So what's happening? 10 form, 10, you got it, learned it really well. Then we took it apart and we said, okay, now time for 16. 16 was kind of fun, kind of, still kind of uh, jerky and not smooth but we were exposed to new movements. So when we layered it with the 24, you say, hey, I know how to do that. I know how to um, go down to the bottom of the sea, but what happened? We went down to the si bottom of the sea on the other side. So can you see that there are similarities and um, we gain some confidence, but what are we doing with our mind and what are we doing with our body? We're tweaking it, ever tweaking it, and saying, hey, if we can do it on one side, we should be able to do it on the other side. So can you see that's not only fascinating, but can you see the mental gains from that? And obviously, I think yes. So that's what makes Tai Chi really intriguing. That's what makes us continue to teach because we think we're teaching everything but there's we're only touching the surface there's always stuff to learn and by watching you and by listening to you 
we feel that, hey, we need to address this, and that makes us maybe perhaps a little better in teaching. Okay. We don't know how long we can do that, but we'll, we'll trust it and hope for the best. All right, so that was 24. How many think they're ready for the 24? Nobody's going to raise their hand, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's good. So it's giving you a little taste of it and said, hey, you know, that's something maybe I can do. How many already know the sequence for uh, the 16? Can, can I just see a raise of hand just so that I have some kind of, okay. And how many are not sure about the sequence of the 16? Okay. So I would say about half. So I assume that everybody knows the sequence. Okay, so here are some ways, or here is a way in which you can probably help yourself with sequencing. Yes, view it. Yes, internalize it. But remember I used the word set it up correctly. If you set it up correctly, you will get a hint, a good hint of what comes next. So just remember that, okay? If you set it up correctly, if you set it up correctly and you have your weight in the back, right? If you set it up correctly and the weight is in the back, what's going to do? What, what are you going to do? You're going to have to lift and then you're going to say, oh, it's repulsing the monkey, right? If you set it up correctly, what are you going to do? So to help you with sequencing, if you can get the first two, first three, and then you just kind of build, okay? Um, I should talk because I have, I have trouble sequencing with the, um, the 88 form, and I see my students just, you know, bypassing me, and I'm going, what's going on with me, you know? So in, in some ways, I feel a little pressure, but I'm gonna say, you know what? It'll come when it wants to come, but realize that it is an area that you have to push towards the front and not just kind of leave it in the back. Good, so we have some time here. Um, let's go over really carefully the 16 so we have some kind of uh, confidence in it, okay? Let's do it uh, forward this time, okay? First clock wall, this is young 16 with lots of support and instructions. Commencing form, shift weight, open, rotate, deep breath, use your core, Push down, use your core. Part the wild horse's mane, don't lift that shoulder. Out and to the side, bow the legs. Part the wild once. Sit back, sit down, pivot out. Center with the ball, L sense, bow the legs, drop the shoulders, two and final. Half step forward, hold your ball, spin the ball to the right. Watch the advancing left hand go up. On the toe of the front, lift it off, set it up correctly. Drop the front foot, tuck the elbow in, bisect your body, swirl back, look back. All together, multitask, turn the hips and waves, hands go for the ride, brush knee one. Sit back, twist out, set it up correctly, multitask, brush knee two and final. Sit back, twist out, left hand high, right hand fisted, exchange the place as you shift your weight, deflect to the right, bring it in, let the parry come in, and then the punch out. Touch or strip, roll back and sit down, spiral up and lunge forward. Pivot on the back, pivot on the front, hook the back hand, T stance, out across the face, single whip. Half step forward, swirl the back hand, rock the front foot, play your lute. Play your lute, what does it mean? We're gonna do repulse the monkey. Open, all together, repulse the monkey, one. Set it up, lead with the toe, open, all together, Repulse of the monkey, final. Pivot the front, parallel at the back, 
Spin out with a kick of the right heel, reposition your ball. Out with your left heel, spin the ball, made it on her left. Sit back, sit down, pivot in, hold your ball, right heel out as you spin the ball, put the shuttlecock right there. Half step to the back, cross the hips and waist, down to the bottom of the seat. One hand comes up, two hands come up, then your foot, start in the middle, stretch out the knee, flash arms like a fan. Sit back, sit down, twist, cup, parameter one, cloud hands. Middle, flip meet, close. Middle, flip meet, open. Middle, flip meet, close on a T-step, hold your ball out into the side, ward off. Grasp the bird's tail. Contact, turn, push. Separate, roll back, sit down. Spiral up and lunge forward. Twist step, T stance, bow stance, uh, L stance, bow stance. Turn the hips and waist, grasp the bird's tail. Contact, turn again, push. Separate, roll back, sit down, spiral up, lunge forward. Twist, open twist, in twist, embrace the tiger, roll, closer, push out. Drop the shoulders, tuck the elbows, let that core go working for you as you now close your form. So something occurred to me when I say, um, when we put emphasis on how we use our core, all the other elements of probably the 12 essentials come into play because when you use your core and you use your mind and to direct and you come down, you're tucking your elbows and you're drilling down, drilling down and firming down. That engages your core. When you shift your weight, you're now saying, I can use my core to pivot out, hold my ball, and use my core and energy that I've stored on my, my back foot. So if you're really looking hard and want to be conscientious about how to use your core, because core, the stronger your core is, the better you are in holding your balance and keeping yourselves from falling, okay? So Tai Chi promotes using of the core, strengthening the core. You have to take a look at the other elements because each element cannot be done by itself. They're all interrelated and wrapped together and to get the fullness and benefits of Tai Chi, such as using the core, all the other elements have to go into play. Okay, it sounds really heavy duty, and I know you're, we're all retired, but you know, uh, we can still use that brain, we can still use that body to the best we can, and that's where we're coming from. So yes, we have students in their 50s all the way to their mid or early 90s, and we see, we see what's happening and what's developing, and we are appreciative of everybody who comes, no matter what age, what talent they bring, and how much they practice. But we kind of urge you to, you know, do something for yourself and practice. Okay? Good job. Yay, happy holidays.